Hi, I'm Marla Ellerman. I'm publisher of Mobile Marketing Technology Online, and we are here today with Bill from Apriva, and he's going to tell us about what they're announcing and talking about here at the ETA show. Bill? Thanks. Bill Ramsey, and I'm in charge of smartphone technologies. And so that, or that has to do with products uh, like our Apriva Pay mobile payment acceptance solution and the Apriva Wallet, um, both smartphone-based systems uh, with discrete functions, Apriva Pay, is geared around card acceptance. It's probably the closest thing to a made-for-purpose terminal for a uh, smartphone. So taking traditional payment processing into modern operating systems like iOS and Android. The Apriva wallet uh, is centered largely on coupons and offers, loyalty programs, uh, the way we uh, spin it, and I have to amortize the marketing expense by using this phrase as much as possible, is that it's more evolutionary than revolutionary. We're not necessarily tied to a presentation method or fixated about payments. Uh, the Priva wall is more about uh, offers, coupons, loyalty, getting customers back to the merchants uh, at the right time, and the right customers back at the right time. Security is a big issue here at the show, and I just wanted to talk to you about what security do you have, you know, from the adapter to the gateway. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So on the Apriva Pay solution, we use uh, read-head encrypted peripherals. So it's duck put key management, um, triple DES or AES encryption. Uh, not decrypted until it reaches our PCI compliant gateway. Uh, there are things with the client device that we do to authenticate even the user to, to our system. We issue client-side certificates, for instance, for every user on the Apriva Pay platform. So we know you are who you say you are and you're authenticated to reach our platform. So even before you can run read-head encrypted data into our platform, we authenticate you with that, with that client-side certificate and that opens a secure uh, session to our server. Uh, Every product in the Apriva family has its own unique spin on security or addresses specific concerns. The bigger story with Apriva and security is that we're really a secure messaging company at, at the highest level. And what I mean by that is that we, we're here at a payment show talking about payment technology. Uh, we have a whole side of the business that's dedicated to uh, providing secure wireless communications, both data and voice, for um, largely governmental entities. So we work with the United States government and other English-speaking governments around the world to secure uh, their sensitive data. Great. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the merchant opportunities that you're offering, like uh, the revenue side, revenue share. Um, is, ser is it offered in a service bureau? Do you have different types of packages that you're offering the merchants? Um, how do they get to do that? Are a lot of other people are offering different? Sure. So, Apriva is 100% channel driven. So, we're always working through an ISO acquirer, some sort of ISO acquirer, some sort of reseller to reach the merchant. So, one of our goals is to provide different pricing schemes and packages on a wholesale level so that our merchants or our acquirer and ISO partners can go out and provide uh, competitive products. So, even though we may say have a uh, fixed cost uh, program for Apriva Pay, where we say it's X dollars per month per subscriber. We have a number of resellers that go out there and do performance-based pricing because they understand their business model, they understand the transaction uh, uh, volumes of their merchants and, and can offer that. So uh, part of what we do is try and set pricing schemes on a wholesale level that allow our partners to go out and sell effectively to merchants in a variety of ways. Great. And then also, um, I think that with some of your products, you offer mobile marketing or QR codes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So the Apriva wallet, uh, in many ways, is a framework for driving those types of programs. We have our own engine for providing offers and coupons, but we also have a framework that allows us to integrate any number of providers into that scenario. So whether you want to drive offers, uh, specific coupons to people, if you're a user of uh, provider XYZ and, and want to integrate them, uh, we have a framework to do that. If you're a tier one merchant and you have your own homebrew system for providing loyalty and, and merchant offers, we can integrate to that. So again, uh, a lot of times I describe Apriva as the Intel inside of transactions in that uh, we may not be the name you see on the front side, but we help glue all the pieces together um, behind the scenes. So whatever loyalty program you're using, gift program, uh, custom business logic you have, uh, things like the Apriva wallet can tie that together. If you have a QR code based, uh, based marketing platform, 
we can help enable that through the wallet. Um, and that applies just about any technology. We don't, um, even when we look at payments, we don't have uh, a particular horse in any race when it comes to presentation method for payment, whether it's NFC or a, a contactless or a card present transaction. We, we don't have a horse in that race. Um, same thing goes to uh, loyalty programs, gift programs, um, and, and mobile marketing. We're here to provide a framework and the rails to help those providers um, uh, reach merchants and uh, and provide that custom fit for a merchant. Uh, not all merchants are created equal, so we can't say that a QR-based marketing scheme is the best for every single merchant. We're here to enable uh, our resellers to have the choice to provide what is best for their end user. Great. And um, do you primarily offer your services to North American merchants, or are you an international do you have a lot of international companies or merchants that basically use your software as well? Primarily today, we, we serve the North American market. We are expanding and uh, have some opportunities. You'll see some things in the fall okay. with, uh, with, uh, in, in the global community. So uh, um, a growth area and uh, exciting opportunities. Uh, for us, it's really picking the right opportunities. But the, the majority today, the overwhelming majority is in North America. Is there anything that you're releasing at the show that you'd like to talk about and tell our readers about, or have we covered everything? I think we've covered everything. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, what we're talking about um, at the show is uh, we have some behind closed doors meetings with our with our uh, partners to show really what we're going to be rolling in the fall. We've been very public talking about the wallet and what we're trying to do with uh, that framework and enabling mobile loyalty, mobile couponing, mobile marketing. We think that's important. Um, we also have a next generation payment acceptance product. I won't call it a Priva Pay 2.0 because it's not replacing the original Priva Pay. It's another way for merchants to accept cards and addresses um, some specific merchant segments that we think are attractive and providing um, functionality beyond what a traditional made for purpose card acceptance terminal does. So we've been, we've been meeting with a lot of folks uh, behind closed doors about that and, and getting a lot of great feedback. Well, great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate thank you. you. Thank you for watching. Bye.